Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some pleasant conditions across the region this morning. Temperatures warming up nicely. Already up to 71 degrees. We have a light southwesterly wind currently at four knots. Uh, notice the chance of precipitation or lightning today. We'll have a weak cold front moving through for our uh, Thursday morning. That's going to give us a slight chance of a brief shower, but otherwise, it looks like we're going to remain dry for the extended time period here. As we move into our sounding from this morning, freezing level at 12,900 feet. Winds are fairly light throughout the column. We do still have that upper level ridge, mainly out of the south, the southwesterly component up to 21 knots at 16,000 feet this morning. Our current surface analysis, high pressure and control, is starting to slide off the coast a bit more this morning as this cold front quickly advances towards the region. We'll move through the region and tonight into tomorrow morning. As I mentioned, could see a brief shower as that cold front moves through for tomorrow morning with an upper level disturbance riding along that, but overall uh, not going to see much in the way of total precipitation if we do see that shower move through. And taking a look at our current satellite imagery, you can see we do have a little bit of cloud cover across the area this morning, mainly off the coast, a little bit of serious cloudiness as well, but overall most of the sunny skies, and that's expected to be the way through the remainder of the day. Taking the GFS model, for the next few days you can see here we have high pressure in control today, and then that cold front moves through for tonight into early tomorrow morning and the GFS does give us a shower or two moving through for tomorrow morning and clearing out for Thursday afternoon looking like good conditions for tonight as well as for Thursday night. Moving into Friday we'll have high pressure building into the region giving us nice conditions for light winds on Friday as well and we'll have a little bit cooler temperatures for Thursday and Friday more towards seasonal levels in the 60s for highs. And then for Saturday we'll have another cold front moving through the region that's going to give us a brief mild spell for Saturday in the 70s, a very slight chance we see a sprinkle Saturday morning. And Sunday we'll see a cooler high build in the region, giving us uh, fairly nice conditions once again, but a little bit cooler towards seasonal averages. And then Monday we'll see that high uh, build off over New England and into Tuesday as well. And we're just going to continue to see a stretch of dry weather, not looking at any uh, higher chances of precipitation in the next several days. And looks like we'll continue with this dry weather that we've had in the last few weeks. Looking at our uh, risk chart for today, we'll see a high of 76 degrees today, a low tonight of 58. Southwesterly winds this morning becoming more south-southwesterly in direction at 7-12 knots and then southerly by this evening at 5-10 to 10 knots. Tomorrow morning, once that cold front does move through, we'll see our winds pick up out the northwest to 8-13 to 13 knots, gust to 18. Have a yellow for our chance of precipitation around 30%. 20 to 30% across the region tomorrow morning with a chance of a sprinkle or a light rain shower. As far as our terminal forecast goes, we should see VFR conditions in the next 24 hours. We'll see a little bit of low level cloudiness tomorrow morning around 1,000 is 5,000 and a broken take of 10,000 feet. So in general, most of the cloudy skies, slight chance of a shower after six local on Thursday morning. Our tides are continuing to run slightly below normal and looking at Thursday, mostly cloudy and breezy, a slight chance of a shower in the morning, becoming mostly sunny and slightly breezy in the afternoon, a high of 68 degrees. We'll see those precipitation chances during the morning, most likely until about 10 local on one Thursday morning, and then uh, precipitation chances will uh, quickly move out of the area and we'll see clearing skies during the afternoon. Also seeing those winds gusting in near 23, 24 knots during the morning on Thursday. Thursday night, we'll see that high build in the region, giving us a good radiational cooling night with most of clear Skies, light winds, and cooler temperatures down to 42 degrees for overnight low. And for Friday, mostly sunny and seasonable with light winds, a high of 65 degrees. So the next seven days, looking at the warmest for today, we'll see those temperatures back towards seasonal averages for Thursday and Friday, and then back up above average for Saturday at 72, a very slight chance of a sprinkle Friday night into Saturday. And we'll see temperatures below average for Sunday and a Monday as the chilly high builds in. And then that high will build off the coast for early to mid portion of next week and that's going to give us looks like a stretch of above average temperatures from Tuesday through the remainder of next week as it appears now temperatures on Tuesday look like they'll be in the lower 70s coolest overnight low will be Monday morning in the lower 40s inland locations could be seeing temperatures in the 30s for Monday morning well that's going to complete our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing I hope everybody has a great day today back tomorrow morning at 8:15 at 10 a.m.